about 12 million Americans are employed directly in manufacturing. But as jobs have increasingly moved to continue to tumble and the job outlook gets worse, more people are pointing the finger at outsourcing. sent their production overseas. My father bought this metal craft in 1982. We specialize in stainless steel, fabrication, and machining. I worked for my dad for six years, and then he said, okay, you're ready, take over. How's your day gone? From the beginning, I didn't know how to turn the machines on, I didn't know how to fabricate anything, and I don't know how to weld, and so I had to trust everybody around me because they knew more than I did. Can I show you what I'm doing right now? Yeah, you can certainly show me, I'd like to see it. So, you know, we grew at a very fast clip, and it was very chaotic and we were delivering some items late to our customers. At that time it was typically eight weeks from the moment we get the order until we ship the final product. To stay competitive, we needed to get it to three weeks. That's what Toyota Production System is helping us do. At Toyota, we believe that us helping other companies with our production system will help retain jobs here in the United States. That's going to be more people making money and more people buying stuff. It's going to overall help the economy. Well, when we heard that Toyota was coming in, we thought, well, here's an auto manufacturer from overseas telling us, you know, this is the way you've got to do things. Everybody was kind of apprehensive about it. And there was some concern that once we establish some kind of systems where am I going to be kicked out? Am I going to lose my job here? Prior to working with the company, we have some requirements. One being that no one will lose their job by our activity. I've seen family members, I've seen people that I know very well lose their jobs because their company decided they're gonna pick up and move somewhere else. That's devastating. I wanna be able to help somebody where that doesn't happen. What we wanna think about is if the team member's struggling or there's something we can fix quickly, we need to do that. Scott came in and he walked us to a training and then we were off. So we have this overall 18 month schedule and every month for three days. We're gonna work in different areas making improvements. This process is all about people. It's focused around human movement. At the end of the day, we want them to feel better about their job. Toyota started with our shipping operation. To my surprise, they told us that we were disrespecting our employees. And I was just shocked by that. What they taught us is that the leaders of the company are disrespecting the team member if the system isn't flowing perfectly. The shipping department was pretty much a shambles, so it was fly by the seat of your pants. When Toyota came in, we established a team to work together and present different ideas. Surprisingly enough, it was all very simple stuff. We created shipping lanes so that anybody on my team could walk in and see exactly what we had, when it was due. We taped off a section of our shipping floor the size of our truck, so we would know exactly when we had a full truck of parts. I feel that as a team, we made a huge difference. It was like a miracle came through. <laughs> we typically start in shipping and work all the way back to raw materials. We want to be able to touch that entire production line. There's what we're going to do, team. We're going to run one all the way through. We're going to start this week, we're working on a product that used to take days to get through this plant. All right. So six days. Now we can do this in six minutes. Awesome. Well, we started eight weeks and now we got it down to five and a half weeks already. It's just a matter of keep doing those small improvements and we're going to get there. Through these continuous improvement workshops, we are changing that culture and making it everybody's job. Our goal is to have 116 problem solvers here at ACE. Since we started our work with Toyota, we're getting more orders and more customers. So not only did we not let anybody go, we added 20 more people. You know, the whole purpose for our company is not about bending metal. It's really about unleashing potential in people. I truly love what I do. I still get butterflies when I drive up into the parking lot. I feel part of a family. We have father, son, mothers and daughters and cousins and brother-in-laws. This is my daughter, Angela, and she's a value stream leader here. How are we doing, Leo? She will be CEO of this company one day and she'll take it way further than it is today. She's very capable and much smarter than I was at 26 years old. Right? I don't know. <laughs>